She has too much stuff in a bag. Hi, I'm Rebecca Black and I am going to spill it. I am the kind of person who I get a bag and I wear it until it falls apart. <laughs> this bag is from Stodd. I just really like their bags. One, because I know that they're gonna be made well, but they're not so unaffordable that it makes me wanna cry every time that I buy it. So first thing in my bag is my phone, which is usually always like precariously placed there and it's my everything. Uh, I am just as obsessed and addicted to my phone as uh, every, every person is. The next thing I have is my wallet. It's definitely worse for wear. I think I somehow spilled acetone all over it in my bag. I have sunglasses because I sneeze when I see the sun. So that's important and I love, I just love a good sunglass. Three masks. <laughs> These ones are actually really nice. They're from this brand called Reuse Masks and they are all made out of dead stock fabric and they come in great colors. They're really comfortable, uh, but they fit my face really well. That's one thing I've learned about COVID is I have a tiny face. So a lot of masks are too big for me. This is a compact from Marc Jacobs Beauty. Keeps me from being shiny. And I didn't know this for like a year after having this is that it came with a brush. And so I was always carrying around a brush with me. And then I figured out the packaging is genius. And it, ugh, ugh. One of my essentials of life is lip balm. This is the one. This is the one. I love it. It's by Bite. It's the agave lip balm or lip mask and I wear it before bed. I wear it first thing in the morning. I'm constantly putting it on. It's so thick. It's juicy. Mm. One day when I get to smooch people again safely, my lips will be so nourished. <laughs> this is a comb and it was just something I think I got for free. How often do I really use this one? Not often, because I have another one that I use more. I don't know where it came from. Uh, I think I stole it from my mom probably before I moved out of the house, which was close to six years ago. And it's just perfect for combing bangs, so. I feel like no matter how much makeup I have on, if I don't have lipstick on, I feel so naked. And I really like these because they are not very sticky and uh, I have like every color of them. I really just keep them full full beauty routine in here. I have concealer. <laughs> this one is uh, NARS Creaming Concealer. You don't need concealer, but I need a concealer. Scrunchie. I only use scrunchies. Clearly this is not my natural color, if you thought it was. Thank you. The girl's been through a moment, so we like to keep her protected, and scrunchies are the best thing to put your hair in. My AirPods. Uh, a huge essential. I love uh, being able to, at any random point in time, listen to something that I'm working on because it'll always be like in the vegetable aisle of a grocery store that I have this random moment of anxiety that something needs fixing and I need to listen to it uh, over and over again. <laughs> a nude lip gloss from e.l.f. And ooh, I really like this one. It's from Dior and it's like a lip oil, so I think it's supposed to kind of be a, a chapstick and a lip gloss. I also have Advil. I love Advil. Um, my mom raised me on Advil. I don't like gum. I know a lot of people do. I love mints. These are the Icebreakers Cool Mints. You can get them at your local drugstore. There's nothing worse than smelling your own breath through a mask. So anytime I can put in a mint and just make sure I'm solid, we're good. I am someone who for so long, I always was trying to find the right dry shampoo that would actually work on my hair and just not make it look even more greasy. And this one does that. What I learned recently, don't put in a dry shampoo unless you're putting on a shine spray first so that it doesn't look crusty and busted and all of that. So I did put in dry shampoo before I got here. And that is supposed to balance it all out. This is perfume. It's the Margiela Replica and Lazy Sunday Morning. I love to carry these little like perfume testers with me because 
I'm not gonna carry around a whole perfume bottle. I have so many other bottles to carry around with me and uh, I basically just use it up until it's gone and then I throw in another one in there. I have, of course, my mom's house key. Uh, my mom is very, bit. I mean, if I were living at home still, my mom would be extremely happy. I went home for a few months at the beginning of the first quarantine lockdown whole thing, uh, which was, I guess, about a year ago. And I always have a house key on me because you never know. I don't like gum, I know I said it, but I carry it for other people just in case anyone needs gum. I just, I like to be the person that has something <laughs> if anyone needs it. Last, not last thing, second to last thing is Aquaphor. This is great uh, for the moments where I don't have hand cream because my hands have been viciously dry this year and uh, this is definitely very good for that. Also, I love getting tattoos and if I ever have gotten a tattoo, I'm gonna need Aquaphor on me for like the next couple of weeks. So I do really, really love this. I don't like it as a lip balm though. I feel like if you're using Aquaphor for lip balm, I don't, I don't know if that is what it's supposed to be used for. Last thing in my bag, it's really glamorous. A tampon. Don't forget it, for my people with periods. That's everything. Thanks for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.